The Chicago Bulls get absolutely demolished by the Dallas Mavericks, losing 119-99. to And honestly, the score doesn't even show how bad it really was. They played absolute dog shit. It was just one of those games. I would assume it was bad. Kobe White was bad. Almost anybody you name on this team was bad other than Boozellis. We got some Boozellis minutes. That was a bright, shining moment. But in reality, we could not stop the stars of the Dallas Mavericks. We're going to talk about all that and more after the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. LTB Nation, what is up? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name is Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. This is going to be a quick one mostly because I'm sick as shit right now. Um, but I did want to make sure I got a video out for you guys just not just talking about the game, but also ranting a little bit because that's what we do here when we're pissed off. We have a therapy session. Um, the Bulls lose. They get destroyed. And if you know, I also am a co-host on Shy town Sports Central. Um, if you've been watching me over there, if you watched this morning's episode, you know that I talked about this game and how bad it was going to look. And the only thing I didn't get right is I thought Clay Thompson was going to go for 35, and he didn't do that. That's the only bad thing that did not happen that I thought was going to happen. Um, this was a game of the Bulls showing they are not a good caliber team. Whether that is they're not trying, whether it's Billy Donovan being a terrible coach, or if it's just one of those things where they knew they were going to be bad, but they wanted us to believe they were going to be good. They just they have not played to the way you want a Chicago Bulls team to play. And they have no defense. They have no offense. They are giving up the most points in the paint I've ever seen in my life. And they make it easy. And on top of that, we can't even score in the post. I don't know what to do about it. So let's talk about this game. Um, first, we're going to talk about um, the Mavericks and how they dominated us. Uh, Luka did a Luka-type game, and that's with him also not playing most of the fourth and not trying. 27 points, 7 rebounds, 13 assists, 8 for 19 from the field, 3 for 8 from the three-point line, 8 from 9 from the free throw line. And like I said, he looked like he was on the playground. Man looked like he was one of those old dudes at the wreck just dishing the ball to his teammates, having fun, making silly plays, trying shit you shouldn't try with behind the backs and things, just doing Luka Doncic things, and the Bulls could not stop him, regardless of what they wanted. Kyrie Irving hit us like an assassin, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 7 for 11, 1 for 3, didn't even play the fourth quarter. Didn't play the fourth quarter. He just he didn't need to. That's how bad we were. They just set him. And honestly, he made us look terrible too. He was just out there just, once again, not trying playing fun. This was a really, really easy game for the Mavericks. And it's just one of those things where you really see how bad the Bulls defense is, especially against a high octane offense like this. Um, you also got to talk about Klay Thompson, 13 points, six rebounds. He didn't shoot as well as I thought he was going to shoot. They did a pretty good job of stopping him. But in reality, I mean, he didn't need to do anything because the rest of the team did everything they needed to do. Daniel Gafford, again, destroying the Bulls like he always does. 17 points, 7 rebounds, 7 for 9 from the field. The starters did most of the work in this game for the Mavericks. And like we've been saying the last few games, the Bulls don't have defense. They have no semblance of what a defense should be, what it can be, how to play, how to talk. They just go out there and hope that they can do something I don't know what it is and it's getting more and more aggravating each game because it seems like they're not even learning from the mistakes they make in the game prior <coughs> excuse me it seems like the Bulls just aren't trying to get better they're bad and we knew they would be bad but sometimes teams are bad and they start to learn and they get better the Bulls just keep getting worse it seems like they're just one of those teams where they lose and then they get sad and then they stop trying and then the next game they come out and they don't try at the beginning. And then halfway through the game, they're like, oh, we're down. We don't want to get blown out, so let's try again. And then it doesn't work, so then they lose all hope. I don't know. I don't know if you know. If you do, comment in the in the comment section if you know how to fix it. I don't think any of us do, or, or maybe we should be the coach. I don't, I don't know anymore. Um, let's talk about the Bulls and their terrible shit. Kobe White, eight points, one rebound, three for 13 from the field, one for seven from the three-point line. That's supposed to be our number one go-to option other than Zach, especially now that he's out. He is the number one, and he gives you eight points. 
Kobe White gives you eight points, three for 13, one for seven from the field. That doesn't get any better. Um, gosh, gosh darn it. I don't know. I was going to say Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy, 10 points, six assists, three rebounds, three for nine, one for three from the three point line. I would assume it was six points, five rebounds, four assists, two for 13, two for 10. From the three-point line, Io continues to struggle shooting. He just he looks like he has lost all of his three-point shot, and it looks like it's not coming back. This is what Vooch looked like a couple years ago. I don't. He just he he's taking a step back, and that's something you don't want to see. We were praising him a game or so ago about him getting to the rim, and he didn't do that this game. The shot wasn't going down, and he kept shooting it even though it wasn't working. Um, Vooch fourteen and 10, 7 for ten from the field. Vooch continues to be the go-to person on this team. He continues to be the anchor that doesn't play like shit. I don't even think I can say Vooch has played like shit, period, this year. He continues to show he is still a valid piece, even though the Bulls don't look for him. They don't try to find him. They started the game out doing it, and then halfway through the first, there was point guards on him. We didn't pass on the ball. He was working to get into the post. We didn't pass on the ball. I don't know. The Bulls just decided he wasn't going to have a big night. Patrick Williams, 8.6 rebounds. He did better this game. He looked a little bit more aggressive, um, but didn't do too much. Dalen Terry off the bench did pretty good, actually. 10 points, 4 rebounds, 3 for 7, 1 for 3 from the 3-point line, but that doesn't say it all. Dalen was out there working, playing good defense, getting rebounds, trying to extend plays. There's probably a couple of rebounds that he tipped back that he didn't get credit for, but he was trying to work hard. The bench is what shined this game. We also had Modest Buzelis. 13 points, 9 rebounds, 4 for 9 from the field, 3 for 4 from the free, um, I'm sorry, 3 for 4 from the three-point line. When you look at Modest's game in this game, you got to play him more. Billy said he's got to earn his minutes. This is a game where you look at it and say he earned his minutes. He looked good. Looked real good. He came out. He played aggressive. He attacked. They gave him the ball and let him make decisions. They didn't just make him shoot in the corner. I've been saying this for a few weeks now. You can't just let him sit in the corner. You got to let him do some stuff. And he did it. He did it this game. And he looked good. He made good decisions. He played good defense. He said physicality is what he needs to work on. It's going to get better the more he does it. But yeah, that was the game. The Bulls played like shit. Julian Phillips did pretty good too. Eight points, two rebounds. Um, but it was one of those games where you can see that they knew they weren't going to win. The Bulls knew they had no chance in this game. And they showed it from the jump. And this was one of those teams where... It shows you how bad you are. When you go up against a team like the Mavericks, who are championship contenders, a team that plays with you, has fun. They were out there looking like they were playing 2K on easy, just passing the ball, just run outs, cherry picking, passing full court passes, getting multiple offensive rebounds, easy open shots, back cutting everybody. This was a bad game for the Bulls. Absolutely terrible, terrible game. For the Bulls, and the good and amazing part about it is not only was it a bad thing for the Bulls, it was a bad thing for us. We had to watch it. We had to suffer through it. Us Bulls constant creators got to come here and talk about the shit that we see because they constantly keep playing like shit. Um, and even worse than that, we got a game tomorrow, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's going to get worse. We get, There's a chance we can lose another two or three games. It's just, it's going to be a struggle, y'all. I hope y'all are making it through. I hope you're safe. I hope you're finding a way to let out the anger of this team. If not, you can comment below. Let this be your therapy session. I will see you on the next game. Once again, like I said, I'm sorry if this wasn't the best video. Like I said, I'm sick as shit right now, but I wanted to make sure I got some content out for you guys, even if it was about a terrible game. We're going to keep trying to be as consistent as possible, making this family real. And like I said, I'm not just doing this, but if you do... You know, love the podcast. I'm also co-hosting on Chi Town Sports Central every day, so make sure you check that out. Um, and don't forget to check out Hayes. You know, C Dub, the rest of the guys, they are all amazing as well. Um, it's been amazing to be a part of that family. So if you're following me, follow them, and vice versa. That's what it's gonna be. But I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Thank you for watching. 